are looking for the best mountain e-bike? In the world of mountain biking, choosing the perfect e-bike can be a tricky feat. Today we're pitting two giants against each other, the Cannondale Matera Neo 4 and the Spectral on CFR. We'll delve into the specifics of each bike, their strengths, their weaknesses, and how they stack up against each other. By the end of this journey, you'll have a clear winner in mind. Let's dive right into it with our first contender, the Cannondale Matera Neo 4. This electric mountain bike is a true powerhouse, designed to conquer the most challenging terrains. Constructed from Smartform C2 aluminum, the Matera Neo 4 is robust and sturdy, capable of handling both steep climbs and rapid descents. At the heart of this EMTB is the Shimano EP8 motor. This powerful engine gives the bike a significant boost, allowing it to tackle even the most challenging trails with ease. Complementing the motor is a high-capacity 630 watt-hour battery. This combination ensures riders can enjoy extended adventures with a range of up to 125 kilometers on a single charge. Despite its formidable build, the Motera Neo 4 surprises with its agility and precision. Thanks to a lower center of gravity, progressive geometry and short rear chainstays, it handles like a dream. The bike comes with 150 millimeters of suspension travel, 29 inch rolling tires and wide handlebars. These features allow the rider to maintain control even when faced with the toughest trails. In conclusion, the Cannondale Motera Neo 4 is a versatile and powerful electric mountain bike. Its remarkable mix of power, agility and endurance makes it an excellent choice for any mountain biking adventure. Now that we've looked at the Cannondale Motera Neo 4, let's move on to our second contender, the Spectral on CFR. This e-bike is the epitome of performance in the electric mountain biking world. It boasts a top-tier carbon fiber frame, unparalleled suspension, an impressive drivetrain and carbon wheels. The front wheel measures in at 29 inches, enhancing the bike's ability to roll over obstacles, while the smaller 27.5-inch rear wheel contributes to a shorter back end and livelier handling. Light, stiff, strong, these words perfectly describe the Spectral on CFR. Its all-carbon frame construction enhances the bike's strength while reducing its weight. Meeting the rigorous Category 4E standards, this bike's frame is undeniably robust and reliable. Under the hood, the Spectral on CFR houses the Shimano EP8 drive unit, one of the lightest and most potent motors available. The motor's 85 Newton meters of maximum yes, torque sir. instills confidence when traversing ramps, routes and rocks alike. When it comes to batteries, the Spectral on CFR doesn't hold back. Whether you opt for the sizable 720 watt hours or the monumental 900 watt hours, you can expect a considerable range. With a single 900 watt hour battery charge, you can journey up to 100 kilometers and ascend over 2130 vertical meters. Now that we've examined both bikes, it's time to compare them head to head. By the way, if you are finding this video helpful, then feel free to drop us a like and subscribe. Okay, back to our review. So you may ask which e-bike comes out on top? Well, let's break it down feature by feature. First, let's talk about power. Both the Cannondale Motera Neo 4 and the Spectral on CFR are equipped with the Shimano EP8 motor. So in terms of power, it's a dead heat. Both bikes deliver top-notch performance, allowing you to tackle steep climbs and challenging trails with confidence. Now let's talk about battery capacity. The Spectral on CFR has a distinct advantage here. You can choose between a 720 watt hour and 920 watt hour battery. Whereas the Motera Neo 4 comes with a smaller 630 watt hour battery. This difference in battery capacity could mean extended ride time for you, especially on those long trail rides. Next up, the frame. The Spectral on CFR boasts an all carbon frame, which is light, stiff, and strong. On the other hand, the Matera Neo 4 has a Smartform C2 alloy frame. While the alloy frame is robust and reliable, the carbon frame of the Spectral on CFR is lighter and more responsive, giving it the edge in this category. Let's talk about range. Here, the Motera Neo 4 wins out with a range of up to 125 km on a single charge compared to the Spectral Dart 1 CFR's 100 km. This could be a deciding factor for those who love to go on long, adventurous rides. Now, weight and wheel sizes. The Spectral on CFR weighs less at around 49.83 pounds, making it easier to handle, especially for smaller riders. It also features a smaller 27.5-inch rear wheel for a more playful ride. The Matera Neo 4, however, weighs in at around 57 pounds, 
and has 29-inch wheels both front and back, offering stability and control on challenging terrains. Finally, price. The Cannondale Motera Neo 4 comes with a premium price tag of $7,665, but it's currently on sale for $5,399. The Spectral on CFR, on the other hand, costs $7,199, so if you're looking for a bargain, the Cannondale might be the way to go. After comparing these features, it seems the Spectral on CFR has a slight edge over the Motera Neo 4. However, both are high-class, performance-driven bikes that would delight any mountain biking enthusiast. The final choice is up to you. We hope this comparison helps you make an informed decision. Click the link in the description for more details on these e-bikes. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.